Number 24. Now, I know what you're thinking. Before we even start, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ramble for a second. Mr. Reader, that's not a 24. That's a 4. I know. It's 4 factorial. I just wanted to take this opportunity and refresh your memory. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 24. This is problem 24. There we go. Let's get started. It gives us the first term and it gives us the common ratio. Again, when we set these things up in class, we did more with um, saying that that was 0, a sub 0, than we did with saying that it was a sub 1. So we, we're going to do what they do consistently and start with the first one. In this case, it's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to trip you up. It, it's really not. And again, for the, for the 55 millionth time, the reason I did that was to kind of help you understand the structure of the formulas. Okay, but here we go. A sub 1 is 12 and R is square root of 2. What that means is, first of all, it tells me it's geometric. I know it's geometric because it says so and also because it gives me a common ratio. So I know the first one is 12, duh. And then I'm going to add something to it. So it's going to be um, that times the square root of 2. And if you grab your calculator to get, get a decimal approximation, that's going to do fine right there. And then we're going to multiply this by the square root of 2 which for reasons that I don't want to go into, but I hope are obvious, is going to give you 24, because the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, 2 times 12 is 24, and then we're going to have 24, multiply that by the square root of 2, and then we'll multiply that by the square root of 2, that's not going to give us 24, that's going to give us 24 times 2, and so, for, so forth until we really get tired of doing this. Now, I, I'm already tired of doing this, that is the list, but it doesn't go on forever. It says the first 20 terms. So all I care about is the first 20 terms. So this is not gonna be infinite, even though I've written it like it's going on forever right here. That's a sub one, that's a sub two, and this thing is gonna end at a sub 20. So it, it does end somewhere. I just don't know what a sub 20 is. I could easily find it using the explicit formula, but I'm not going to. However, I do need to find the sum of the first 20 terms of a finite geometric series. Might call it a sequence, but technically it's a series if I'm adding it. So I need the formula for, and we'll say it slowly so you can start digging for the formula. I suggest you find your formula sheet while I, st while I stand here and stutter and stammer, which I just did. Um, we need the formula for a finite geometric series. I hope you have found it. Knowing that, we are going to add the first 20 terms. N is 20. So I'm, I'm going to come up here in my list of important things, and I'm going to write down N equals 20. So S sub 20 shows me. It's really my notation for the first 20 terms. And the formula is this. 1 minus R to the nth power over 1 minus R. Here we go. A sub 1. 12, 1 minus the square root of 2 to the 20th power. Now, uh, calculators get crazy here. There's an automatic parenthesis that pops up here. Close it before you get your exponent. Divided by, parentheses are important, 1 minus the square root of 2. And there we go. And we could make our list all the way to 20 and then add them, but why would we waste our time? That would be boring. Let's not do that. Because there's so much room for calculator error, I am going to type this one in and make sure that you can follow along with me on this. <clears throat> so here we go. Um, if I can get the glare off the screen. 12 and then 1 minus the square root of 2, close the parentheses, raise it to the 20th power. That, that finishes the numerator, divided by denominator, 1 minus... Um, oops, 1 minus the square root of 2. There, I'll hold it still for just a second so you can see it. There we go. I believe that should answer your question.